In this final video of the series on banishing your email horrors for Outlook.com and Hotmail users, I know I said there would be four, but I've put the content for three and four into this third video. I'll be showing you how to make the management of your emails even easier. First off, we'll look at creating an alias email address, which uses the same account as your normal email, but gives you an alternative, which you can use with various online services, such as shopping and newsletters, to keep your normal email address safe. And then to extend on what we've already covered in the other videos, we'll look at settings to help with prevention of unwanted email and the easy management of those emails whilst you're reading them. So here we are back in Outlook.com and one of the things that you can do to combat spam email or rather having to give out your normal email addresses to create yourself an alias which you can just use specifically for things like online shopping or signing up to email lists and then what you can do when you receive emails to those addresses you can create yourself some rules as we've explained in a previous video on how to move those automatically into a folder so that it doesn't clog up your normal inbox and this is how you do it in Outlook so first of all what you need to do is you need to go to the picture of yourself in the top right hand corner there if there's no picture there it'll probably just have um, the first letter of your name or your initials and then you'll see my account when you click on that and what you need to do first of all is go to my profile okay once you've got to my profile you'll be presented with your main email address and some other information there uh, I've actually blanked some of that out because I don't want my identity stolen I'm going to click on manage how you sign into Microsoft okay and um, once you get there what you'll see is that I've already got a number of account aliases my main one is here at the top that's my main email address and then I previously set up MVB Marketing, Hotmail Co UK and a Hotmail.com one and I previously used those to sign up for various things. Let's say for example we want to add another one so we'll just do add email so we've got the options here we can either add an existing email address as a Microsoft account alias or the one that we're going to use is create a new email address and add it as an alias. So I'm going to go for MVB newsletters. Now if I'd have just put in newsletters at outlook.com it probably wouldn't have allowed me to have that because that's probably already been used. So I've just used the, the initials of my name to precede that. And then we'll just go add alias and you can see that we've managed to add that now we can check to see if that works by just sending a quick email to that address so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy that email address to save me typing it I'm just going to go to my normal email program because I don't use hotmail a great deal I'm just going to do a new mail paste it in there just checking to see if this email gets to my new alias testing and I'll just click send just want to go back to my inbox there so the quickest way of doing that is just typing in outlook.com and here we are back in the inbox and I can't see it come through into the inbox yet but I'm going to check the junk email folder and there it is there so obviously that's not junk so I'm just going to right click on that and do mark as not junk and then that should go into my inbox and there it is I'll just double click on it to open it so you can see and there it is so you can see that it works so that's aliases done and dusted another really useful feature that will help you to manage your email much more easily is if you go into settings again and go into email customize actions you've got two sections in here you've first of all got quick actions and you've got message surface now the quick actions will appear 
besides sender names and subject lines in your message list. So you've got the icons for delete, archive, pin, mark as read or unread, flag and move to folder and so on. You can see that the icons that you would get there. Move to folder is probably a good one to have there. It does only allow you a maximum of four actions there though. That's the only disadvantage of it. So I'm going to turn the flag one off so that I can put the move to folder one which would probably be more useful for managing email. The message surface ones are much more comprehensive and these actually appear when you're actually reading the message and by default you just get the reply reply all and forward you can see the icons here with the little arrows on what I suggest that you enable to help you manage emails more easily a delete and add to safe senders so if you have an email message for example which keeps ending up in your junk folder when you read it in your junk folder, you can add it to your safe senders list so that it won't end up in your junk folder again. You've also got to go along with that Marcus junk and Marcus phishing. Phishing for these emails that appear to be from your bank, for example, and actually aren't from your bank. Also a block would be a good one and create rule would be quite handy as well. We've looked at creating rules already and I think those are the ones that I would have at least set up on there we'll just have a look at this toolbar option to see if there's anything there that we want to have a look at can't see anything there click save come out of settings okay so let's just have a a look in the inbox here to see so there's one here from me so I'll just double click on it to open it and so i could create a rule from that if i wanted to so i'm going to create a rule from that because that's obviously from me there is a family folder and inside that move to a different folder there we go from mark so i've created a rule for that don't want to block it it's not a phishing email it's not junk i can add it to the safe senders as well another setting that is probably useful to set which you'll also find in email junk email and scroll down to the bottom is these filters here you've got only trust email from addresses in my safe senders and domains list. Now, that's obviously very strict because that would require you to put all the email addresses that you know into this section here under safe senders. And that'd probably take quite a while. But one setting which you should have turned on, I recommend by default, is this block attachments, pictures and links from anyone not in my safe senders and domains list. So just close that. And what that will do when you go to read an email from someone who's not in your safe senders list. So this one here, for example, you will see that none of the images are showing and the links should be blocked as well and you can see here at the top of the email it says some content in this message has been blocked because the sender isn't in your safe senders list and you can either do i trust content from this email address or you can do show blocked content so if i click on that first one there then obviously we can see that the images are now showing if i go back into settings look at my junk email and my safe senders list to search for it there you go so info at email.class.co.uk that's been added in there now so that means that every time we receive an email from them the images and the links will no longer be blocked and that's also a good way of making sure that you don't inadvertently click links on something which looks genuine so once you know something is genuine, you can use the option which I used there, which was to add it to your safe senders list. I hope you've enjoyed these videos on banishing email horrors from your Hotmail and Outlook.com mailbox. If you have and you'd like to see more videos like this, don't forget to click the subscribe button, which you'll find just down below, and also bong the bell icon. And keep an eye out for my other videos as well. 